Which roller coaster is faster? Let's do the math. So 72 meters is the height of the Hyperia roller coaster at Fort Park. And we know at the top of the roller coaster, the energy you have is gravitational potential energy. And gravitational potential energy is MGH, the mass times the gravitational field strength, which on Earth is always 9.81, times by the height of the roller coaster. And then when you get to the bottom of the roller coaster, because you're traveling really fast, all of your gravitational potential energy gets converted into kinetic energy. And kinetic energy when things are moving. And kinetic energy is one half times the mass times where that speed is squared. And there's no gravitational potential energy because now we're on the ground. So because all of the gravitational potential energy goes into the kinetic energy, we can clearly see, because I have mass on both sides, they cancel. So it doesn't really matter how many people are on the roller coaster that day. So now all I have to do to find V squared is I multiply both sides by two. So two GH is equal to V squared. So I pop in my numbers for Hyperia, two times 9.81, times by the height, which is 72, equals V squared. So V, the speed of this roller coaster, or its maximum speed of the roller coaster, at the bottom here, comes out at 38 meters per second. But for our baby roller coaster, when we plug in our math here, 2GH times is equal to V squared, we find the final speed for that one is 14 meters per second. Follow me for more physics content like this.